Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Lords of Magic, the Special Edition, and when last we left off, I have a plan. we have a very sneaky plan indeed. Lord Bradigan is sending his army north, past the area of air, which is currently being attacked by death, and hopefully we'll be able to sweep into chaos and take out their lord. With their faction gone, we can then take the city as our own and have three capitals which we can use to get resources, followers, and units. With three armies, it's quite likely that death are going to pay us a lot of attention, but we will have the forces to be able to resist them. At least that's the hope. We could spend some time clearing out this village, and there is a cave over here but I think life haven't yet rid the marauders of. We'll think about taking that later. For now, there's nothing more that Bradikin can do, but I think, yep, this hound can keep exploring the coastline. As for Fiffa, I believe Fiffa is about to reclaim this brewery that some marauders took over. Armed and ready. Next turn. Let's end the turn and see what happens. There was a death scout very close to our uh, main army, but I highly doubt that scout is going to do anything apart from flee away. You're going over there. You're over there. Ooh! Hello! It's a K-Core! Here, here! Let us say hi to a K-Core, shall we? I think you're going to try some shenanigans, and I do not want to be a part of them. The people of death feel a deep hatred towards you. Balkoth, our lord, will yeah, we've heard that before. Let us have at thee. It's only a matter of time before death have loathing towards us, so let us accelerate the process and take care of this champion. Who knows? We may even get a level. I shall kill him. You're only level two. This shouldn't be tricky. Our cavalry are going to close the distance, and even with the damage they've sustained, they can take on a wizard in close combat. Uh-oh, it's magic! And that is a uh, lightning-based attack, but... The uh, air wizards can't really take many hits. And we indeed did gain a level. One of our axe throwers is now level three. And a minor amount of spoils. Let's pop into here, shall we? And reclaim this. Meanwhile, we have some more exploring we need to do with our hounds. So, we'll have you uh, quickly uh, go over there and explore this desert. We have a few more hounds. There's a... Uh, one over near here? Yes, there's you. And we have an opportunity to take this statue and gain some fame. This, of course, is going to annoy death, but uh, we already hate death, and death, well, they kind of absolutely hate us, so we're not really going to uh, suffer too much for claiming this. This building is owned by an enemy. Taking control of it is beneficial to you, but will anger the owner. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. We now gain one extra fame per turn. Not bad. Now let's go back this way. And use some magic. I have a plan. Now you have a number of spells. You have Falcon's Eye, which increases our sight radius. You have First Aid, which gives us additional healing when we're not moving and lasts for three turns. What I actually want to use is Forced March, plus 30% overland movement, which means that we can move a lot faster. We can get all the way to here. I actually want to stop about here and see if we can reach this cave. The answer is no, but we can get very close. Our healing is uh, very minimal when we're on the road. I'm, ready. I'm definitely going to be resting a little bit before we get to uh, the Lands of Chaos. I will probably clear out this village and claim it for my own. Meanwhile, I have a few more scouts, like you. You're going to uh, go down this mountain with exceptional ease and without falling. That takes some skill. There is a uh, another unit of uh, life archers. Life, by the way absolutely fantastic at ranged combat. They are the masters of it. Command me, my lord. And you're quite close by, Madison. I wonder if you're going to engage in some diplomacy. It would be good for us to uh, get a little bit more friendly with life and water, because we're quite close to uh, the next level up, which is trust. And 
having factions that trust us is really handy. Life are moving lots of troops. We are very close to one of their cities. Makes sense that they uh, have a lot of things going on. You have disappeared from sight there, but you are here. So we have an opportunity to uh, say hello. And I think we will. Armed and ready. Viva, go and say hi. We are at a state of empathy with you. And River Surge, Lord of Water, sends worship to your lord. Let us parlay. Maybe I could get your unit. I want this unit, and uh, if I trade with you a lot of resources, like, say, a lot of gems, hmm, that's not gonna do it. If I just give you gems, however, slightly, if I give you lots of gems, no. That's just gonna improve relations. I think you actually need to uh, instigate a parlay with us for it to uh, go up the next category. Either that, or I just need to make the trade much more favorable. If I close this and give you a lot of ale as well, I give you lots of ale. There we go. Okay, let's uh, hand you a lot of gems. This is worth it. And have a look at this. If accepted, this gracious gift would improve your relationship with the water people somewhat. As a result, the attitude of the water people towards you would become trust. Continue. Oh. You don't want to. Okay. How about we just give you a gift instead? A gift that is a mixture of gems and gold? That might do it. They'll accept that, of course. And we still... It's empathy there. And they have... They're neutral with us. Really? Here, here. Neutral? Curious. If I were to give you another small gift, it would become trust. So I do that, and... Now it's trust. There we go. Water trust us now. It's worth it doing that, because uh, that means that the trades they offer us will be even better. Now, I'd like you to stay in there, please, so that we can uh, heal you up. Meanwhile, all the way back up here with Lord Bradigan, I have a plan. it's time for us to clear out this cave. It's a level four cave. This deep and dark cavern is thought to be occupied by a gang of barbaric marauders. We should be able to take care of them, though we do need to be careful. Ooh, we're in a line here, which means uh, Lord Bradigan is at the front. Now, which direction are the enemies in? You're not here, you're not there. You are, oh, it's, uh, it's one with another area. Let's go. Let's move everybody in, and hope that this does not backfire terribly. To battle. It may very well do. This unit isn't at the highest health. Don't want to lose this one, don't want to lose any of these, they're all really high level. And we will feel the loss of any of them acutely. It's gonna take a little while to uh, march over. We could always get the uh, resources that we gave to water back. It's only going to be a few turns. We're not really using gems that much anyway. There we go. It does look very disorderly, but trust me, these are a fighting force to be reckoned with. Except you. You uh, zigzagged over there. You really should have just uh, moved in a straight line. And you're the last one in. Except for yes, you. That I'm not sure what right. you're Incoming. doing. Let's oh, move. you can't actually, uh... What's the plan? You... Well, that's a bit unusual. You got stuck, and now we are here like this. With the, uh, music being very different as we face off against Gordon the Beast Rider. We have some level 2 goblin archers, we have some level 3 orcs, we have some wolves. We know well how dangerous wolves are, and that's about it. We should be okay. Ready? We should be okay. Troops, ready to fight. Just need to be careful with move, you, lads. and uh, 
Yes, sir. Get the archers further forward. Crossbows ready. Where are the other we archers? Ready. There you At are. My and spells we will start are combat by uh, having you zap these wolves. Because the wolves are the... Actually, no. Zap the champion. Because the champion is uh, going to be the true threat here. Moves quickly. Attacks really hard. This is a uh, chaos champion. I used these quite a bit in my original playthrough. I want you to uh, back up, and I want all of you to move forward right now. Here we go. This should go quite quickly, because we hit really hard. Oh, got to watch out for you, though. You're in a bit of bother, but this uh, melee will end in our favor. To, uh, deal with you Ready? and you, and it seems like Money we missed orders. a few goblins. And Have at thee! If that is, you can even reach it before my crossbowmen take. No, nope, before the crossbowmen take them out. And there we go. Levels for my footman here and for my champion. Not to mention some spoils. The music's now going to shift. I don't know why the music was. Uh, as it was anyway, but that's fine. Now, I want to get improved relations with you. Let us parlay. If I... By the way, we can uh, get one of their scout units because we can see them. Thus, we know that they're there. If I tried to get you, and I offered a lot of ale, this would improve things a little bit. If I offered a lot of gems as well, it would become trust. Now, are you actually going to take this? You are going to take this. Ooh. And still not a trust. The game's lying to me. So let us uh, parlay with you some more and give you some resources. How about this? That would improve to trust. We shall see about that. And it did. Now, life trust us as well. More importantly, our eyes are keen and our arrows sharp. We have a unit of level two archers, and these archers are fantastic. They have ridiculously long range, and they uh, hit quite hard. Unfortunately, they can't take a melee hit that well, but they were worth getting. And getting the trust of uh, both life and water was certainly worth the price. Besides, we're getting 30 ale every turn and uh, 19 gems. We can afford to uh, splurge a little bit. Now, our other scouts are... There's one. Just keep exploring the uh, coast here. Enjoy a nice leisurely walk along it. And there's one more. Maybe I should go this way and find you. There we go. There is the uh, sprite there. And there is the village that borders another faction. Let's go over here and see just what faction that is. I believe that's life. Ooh. Marauders there. Need to watch out for you. Meanwhile, I'm ready. back with Lord Bradigan, we could actually just go over here and move closer. We could go all the way over here, actually. That seems like a pretty good plan. Ooh. There is the Lord of Life. Bellion is guarding air. That makes sense. There has been a pretty hefty attack uh, leveled in that uh, location. Now, I don't think there's much else I want to do right now. Level 2. We could start thinking about... Uh, well, we've already upgraded all of these. Except that. Haven't upgraded that. Now, I could I upgrade to this. Assist. Interact with the building and... Uh, oh, we have plenty of followers. So, uh, should put more here few more here. Forgot about those. We also have some followers over here that we can Orders, allocate. My Lord. Let's allocate them. The only place we can really put these is uh, here and there for now. We could do with more fame. We could do with more gems too. Ready and waiting. Actually, I, I need ready one to more. So one out for the market. 
ready and wait. The tradition and of you Earth upgrade. Magic has passed down yes. since time be the tradition of Earth Can we get another magician? Passed down since no. Time began. Unless Earth, we do a bit of trading, and which we'll do. You know, you're beginning to grow on me. Of course, many things have begun growing on me since my last bath. Ha <laughs> ha! Comedy because Earth. Now, we want the market. The spoils of war are the best source of goods I know. Sell crystals, get gold, no. The temple? Ah, we want the temple, don't we? Uh, the temple is there. Nothing good has ever come from those who dwell above the ground. I wouldn't say that's true. What we do want are some crystals. It's not a great exchange rate, Ready and but when you're in a pinch, the tradition of Earth they're good. Magic has passed down since there time we go. began. Go back if you to there. can't find the spell you're looking for, we can create it. And... Ready and waiting. Lerin, join your compatriot. If you can't find the spell you're looking for... Now there's two of them studying. That was worth it. Now, there's nothing else we need to do here, so let's end the turn. It's turn 94, soon to be turn 95. There are people out there who most certainly could complete the game at this point. I am not one of them. Water on the move. That's fair enough. There were quite a few around our uh, capital. I am here. And here you are. Now, we could go over to this. We could also go over to there, that hideout. What's the plan? Hmm, do I... Wait until I'm at full health. That might actually be a good idea. I have a so you know what? We're actually going to cast first aid on this party. And I am here. we are just going to uh wait. That seems sensible. Archers ready. You're gonna keep moving down here. It's gonna take you a long time to uh march down, but it's worth it. You're gonna keep exploring the coast which will eventually wrap all the way round to where life are. I think it's time for you to uh, explore in now a bit. And there's you. The Marauders are heading over there. They're also heading towards their doom because uh, Marauders are not going to last long with all of those uh, life forces about. And there is one more dog somewhere. There's you. Ah, yes. Can't forget about you. And here is a uh, crystal mine that's going to be very high level indeed. It's pretty close to that tower. We can't uh, do anything with that, even with our army. The hound isn't going to stand a chance. Now, we're just going to wait for a little while. Command me, my lord. Hmm. We could do something to hold these buildings. But that would take a fair few uh, resources that I'm going to be using to get some more forces at some point. So, I think I'm good. I don't want to uh, do I'm anything with ready. that. Need you to uh, recover faster, though. So, we'll wait. Lord of Fire has taken the Great Fire Temple. They're certainly on the ball when it comes to protecting their own holdings. Oh! Hello! We have Chaos Scouts out and about. They are, after all, the only faction that can control cats. You've completed research on leadership. Research will continue with protection. Have you need Let's of have a look me? at that spell. How would you like us to direct our research? Chanting arcane words and moving in a dance of peculiar gestures, Adolric the White threw up a shimmering shield of sparkling energy. As we watched, the energy floated through the air and sank into our armor. Confident in our mage's protective spell, we strode forth to do battle with the cursed barbarians. From the journal of King Aetherwolf II. This will take 20 days or 10 days because we have two wizards. You know what? Stick with that. That seems good. Now, as for our army here, I have a plan. They are healing up very nicely. Very nicely indeed. I'm going to wait one more turn, though. Don't want to uh, our eyes move out too soon. Our sharp. You keep moving. There is a scout here. Orders, my lord. Do I want to deal with you? I don't want to deal with you right now. Fire do not exactly like us, and I don't want to uh, push that over into hatred. It'll happen eventually, but I don't want it to happen right now. 
Now, you're going to explore about here. Maybe find something good? We found a giant skull. Wouldn't class that as good. There's you. I want you to go over to here. And you found a giant rock. We're doing great with this exploring malarc, aren't we? Oh, it needs to be filled in. That is, uh, something I need to consider. Let's go this way. Ooh, the dogs are about to converge. They'll be able to share intel, and then decide together which ways they want to travel. But that will be for next time, folks. For when we come back, we're taking it slow and cautiously. This may be a mistake when it comes to trying to attack Chaos, but uh, this army is strong, but not super strong. We still need to uh, give a little bit more healing for our footman here, and for Aethelstan. Aethelstan is level 5 now. Pretty mighty. Maximum Aethelstan can get to is level 10. Thinking about how I want to attack here, I probably want to take out the wizards first, and then the barracks. And of course, I uh, want to decide early on if I'm going to destroy these buildings or keep them intact. If I destroy them, I'll have to rebuild them. But if I destroy them, I also can be sure that they won't be able to make reinforcements. Alternatively, I could just make a rush for the capital city. That's certainly a plan. I'll have to think about it. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.